Hygiene in a bar. This lesson will outline some of the unbreakable rules which must always be followed when working in a bar. The reason why they are so important is because unhygienic practices can cause a guest or colleague to get seriously ill or even die, and so it is a serious matter. We'll be asking the question, what are bacteria? Taking a look at how spoilage bacteria are spread and what you can do to prevent cross-contamination. Firstly, what are bacteria? Bacteria are tiny organisms, invisible to the human eye, and are often called germs. We find bacteria everywhere, on the ground, in the air, even in our bodies, and most of these bacteria are not harmful. But some bacteria, called pathogens, are harmful. This means that whatever comes into contact with pathogens gets contaminated and becomes dangerous to consume. This means that we must do everything that we can to prevent the spread of pathogens through our drinks. Now let's take a look at how germs spread. Something becomes contaminated through what is called cross-contamination. Cross-contamination is when germs cross over from one object to another. One of the most common ways this happens is when a contaminated object, something with pathogens on it, comes into contact with something that is clean. Just think of when you're sick and you sneeze into your hands. Suddenly there are thousands of germs on your hands. If you don't wash your hands properly, the very next thing that you touch will also be covered in those germs. Our hands and equipment need to always be clean so that they don't contaminate the drinks that we prepare with germs. Let's finish off with preventing cross-contamination. One of the most frightening things about germs is that they multiply, increase in number, under certain conditions. For this to happen, the spoilage bacteria need warmth. Germs multiply most between 5 degrees centigrade and 65 degrees centigrade. This is known as the danger zone. Moisture. Germs do very well in damp or moist conditions, but cannot survive in dry environments. And time. Germs multiply by splitting in half. In fact, they double in number every 20 minutes. This is why it is very important to always check that a drink is not older than its expiry date. In light of this, there are a few procedures to follow when it comes to hygiene that will prevent the spread and multiplication of germs. Keep your body clean and hygienic. By practicing personal hygiene, you know that you have a clean start. Waste storage areas must be well away from drink preparation areas. Imagine if you have the bin right next to the fridge. It's not very far for the bacteria to travel from the bin to the drinks. Waste also often smells bad and attracts pests such as rats and cockroaches. Why do you think that's a problem? You guessed it. Pests also carry and spread germs. Keep your hands clean and hygienic. Wash your hands regularly in between tasks, after visiting the toilet, after sneezing or coughing, and after handling waste. If you don't, your hands become the perfect surface for the bacteria to travel from to the glasses or drinks your guests will be enjoying and using. Waste containers should be emptied regularly. This prevents too much waste, and therefore too many bacteria from building up in the waste area. The containers themselves must also be cleaned regularly. Certain food items will need to be cleaned before you use them in order to ensure that they are in a suitable state for your guests. The most obvious examples include cleaning fruit and vegetables before preparing garnishes. In this lesson, we have looked at what bacteria are, how germs spread, and how to prevent cross-contamination. Well done! <laughs>